Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to compute the volume of a solid or an all body after you model it. Um, make sure that your object is pulled into the, the graphic. You have your working directory set and your object, the object that you want to calculate the volume to is, is set into the graphics. Okay, so um, I want to calculate the volume of these solids that is on the screen. So go to solid. Uh, in, 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 I mean, separate call these ones solid. When you go to leaf rock, they are known as meshes. When you go to determine, they are called wireframes. So take notice of the names. So I go to solid, go to so, drop down to solid tools and go to report volume of solid. And pick that. Okay. Um because a uh, one of the layer name, the layer name, one of the objects has been selected as the one we can report to when we finish reporting that one we can take the one off the screen and be able to report the other one so so i'll give it as volume underscore root one is root underscore one the other one is load one. That's why I'm just putting load underscore one. Okay. In the reported format, if you, if you leave it, this is going to bring you a load file. If you want it in CSV2, you can select. Then allow it to check overlaps. If there are overlaps, you should check. Then you click apply. It's opening the Excel. Okay, so um, this is the layer name, the volume of the object, solid one. Uh, it is called translucent one, and it is validated to be true that is solid. The status is, is closed. If it is not closed, um, work will notify you that it's not closed. The extents of the solids are these, the x minimum and x maximum, y minimum, y maximum, then z minimum, z maximum. So if one the extends, um, <clears throat> these are the extents. This is the surface area and this is the volume. Um, let me, so let me see. Just want to the numbers it's not giving me um, yeah, so that is um how to calculate the volume of um, a solid in Jovia Sepak. Let me quickly take you through uh, the other one. Then you see what happens, the difference in the. So I'm going to take away this one and leave it only this. Okay. Go back to solid. Go to solid tools report volume. Yeah. 
go back to solid, solid tools, solid tools, we got one. Uh, I don't know because I've deleted the other one. Let me go back here. Remove it. Okay, so it wasn't highlighted. So solid, solid tools, record volume. Uh, I want to do it as volume one. I'll check for. And overlaps. I want it. Let me leave it as not far, spark not far. So the difference that you are seeing here is that this wireframe was exported from Leafrop, and this is how uh, implicit modeling is. You see that where there's no data, there's no wireframe, so it is treating this one different, this one that different, then this is different, then different, different, different like this. So it's going to calculate the volumes of each of the solid pieces that forms the whole solid before it asks them to total. That is why you see these ones. Uh, object one, translation one. This, these are the extents, this is the volume, object 1 is translation 2, so it calls each one a translation, a unit of um, each piece a translation, and all call the whole uh, all body an object. So it's also so, so close like that, up to the end that it will give us um, the total volume of the object. Let me see whether I can see the okay the okay fine. Um I want to report it uh, okay they are not the same so we cannot actually do comparison. So Another thing. So thank you so much for watching. This is how to calculate the volume of a solids um, after you finish modeling. Bye.